Okay. There was a problem recording this earlier, but anyway. So, what we've got is we've removed the exhaust. And that on the top is a heat shield, which is separate to it. There's the exhaust. Take the front seats out just for ease. We've got the wheels off as well. Now we've got the exhaust off. Mm. We can see what's going on. Now the next stage now is to get the tank off, which is that thing there. There's a couple of bolts up there. And there's another couple of bolts there. But the problem is, is it's got fuel in it. <laughs> oh, there's the exhaust. That's where it was mounted. And this is the engine mounting. Okay, we've got a bush there. And then we've got this kind of affair around here, which is a, an engine support, but it's held by those bushes. I'm guessing there's one there, there's probably one somewhere up the front there, and another one there, three bushes, and I can drop, drop the engine out. But the problem I've got is this, that's a gearbox mounting, <coughs> and this is a similar sort of thing to what went on in the Fiat. And I've got a mount there, which is on this plate here, which is then mounted there, and back there. Okay, behind this thing there. Okay see from here I don't know whatever anyway okay so I've got to mount that if I'm gonna keep the original engine in which I've got no plans to remove right now basically I can fashion a cross member which that will attach to you see <clears throat> which means then that I've still got my uh, engine mount because I'm gonna cut away all of this the whole thing I've decided it's probably simpler to do that and then we can refashion the, the fixings for like the exhaust mount and stuff and the tank if I'm going to put them back but the tank's going to have to go somewhere else to be honest because it's too close there if I'm going to turn that by 45 degrees then the motor is going to be against the tank so I need to move the tank out of the way and what I'll probably do because that tank is rubbish is um, if it hasn't got a you know the the uh, pressurized uh, induction from the tank itself which some vehicles do so this might have it I might need to put I might I could maybe get away with just a gravity fed one in which case I can put just a small one gallon in there or something you know freaking petrol can I'll do it just to make it run but if it's got a pressurizer because it's got an injection system and it may be pressurized from the tank right, it might not be a separate uh, pressure uh, fuel pressure pump because it needs pressure in there so I don't know, and we'll see. But given that we've got the fuel filter there and stuff, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, the next stage is the tank. Yeah. And there's the outside world. <laughs> <coughs> but, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to see it, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, this is it now. 